Welcome to Two Feathers Restorations and Design in Deerfield, Massachusetts, where we are going to see what's going on in the shop. In this episode, we are going over a Cyril Scotty project from the late 60s. And this is Terry's trailer uh, that is receiving a full treatment going from frame up. Uh, so everything has been serviced or will be serviced and so here we are going to kind of bring you up to date to where we are so this video was shot a few weeks ago and uh, we work on this project a couple hours every morning um, and we have completely salvaged the original cabinetry uh, some of it actually had some very poor quality plywood you would never know it due to the fact that Ciro had done this interesting pattern now ours is a bit of a splash pattern versus a speckle pattern but it was a very good idea using this uh, kind of technique it kind of hid the flaws in the plywoods that they used some of it was very rough in texture um, I've seen various qualities within just in a small handful of Ciro Scotties when it came to the quality of wood uh, the running joke with Ciro Scotties that they were built with scr uh, scrap wood uh, in certain parts. Well, to a point that is true in some areas they use really bad poor quality uh, craftsmanship in some of these early trailers. So what we've done is we've uh, repaired them, uh, cleaned them up, smoothed them out, and we've put a much nicer finish than what you would have had from the factory. So this this trailer here will be a heritage piece that's going to live for many, many, many years. It will not have another restoration such as this any time in our lifetime, or at least for another couple more rounds, due to the fact that once this trailer is completed, it actually is going to have a membrane put over the top of it, make it nice and airtight. Any screw that will be utilized on the trim pieces to hold the skins on actually will be sealed tightly. Not just reliant upon the butyl tape that is used on that trim or on the windows or the door. So as you see here the walls are actually a single piece of plywood. It's thicker, it's custom made for us and uh, so normally a Cyril Scotty is made with a couple pieces. So we're giving you a few different views of this trailer. We left the wheel weld there um, just as it was um, when we took it apart. It actually shows the overspray as these trailers were normally painted after they were assembled. So there was overspray everywhere. In fact, it would have been even on the floor in the cubby areas like such as underneath the bed or underneath the seating area. We have not done that. Everything's painted off the trailer, then put in place. Um, we have a nice high quality product here when we're all finished. So we can see the exoskeleton of the trailer. Um, it will get some insulation there to fight against the heat of the sun. Uh, this is not going to have modern features such as air conditioning like some customers choose. Instead this customer is keeping it pretty well bone stock. Um, other than the paint being more of a um, not a true speckle it's a stock trailer original heat is the plan original wiring is the plan at this point even their refrigerator and ventilation in the roof so it will get the membrane total upgrade brand new metal total upgrade um, so that way you're gonna have um, a trailer looking brand new when it's done uh, you do have uh, beautifully painted chassis you see that we have in bubble wrap so it is protected so as of today everything is now installed on the interior uh, it's in great shape if you haven't done so yet uh, do uh, visit our patreon page at the end of our video here we'll have all the information on how to sign up on patreon where we do provide videos. Uh, you get first dibs on seeing the videos before it's released to the public on our YouTube channel. So go ahead and visit us also on YouTube and subscribe. Our Patreon page does give you a uh, free uh, exchange for your membership advice. Uh, you can uh, get uh, priority uh, answers. Uh, you can set up a video chat, phone chat, where we can coach you through your project such as a project as you see here. 
You also do receive um, other perks such as uh, uh, specials on discounts of uh, products that you might need for your project and where it's uh, able to be applied to, uh, again, uh, at certain levels of membership, there are uh, free consultation credits, whether it's a half hour or one hour per month. So do visit us on Patreon. Uh, it is definitely a great, great uh, platform. Uh, where certain videos we do not release to the public and it's only found on our patreon page so as you see the camper is uh well it's coming along quite well at this point uh, pretty soon here you're going to have the electrical going in the lp gas is going in we're going to start uh, working on items that um, need to be addressed prior to finalizing the camper and that's going to be the heating system we already have the stove disassembled. It's ready to get blasted and cleaned, reassembled and tested. So we're gonna be going through these various systems to make sure that they're operating right. Uh, at some point we are gonna um, show all those videos as well and some tips. Jill is just getting ready to plan out her electrical system that she's gonna be installing. So stay tuned, make sure to follow us again on YouTube and uh, you can also subscribe to our Patreon page to get the most up-to-date videos such as this. Uh, this video here um, will be released uh, on time today. It is not going to be withheld on our Patreon page, but this is a rarity. So we appreciate you joining us. Visit us. If you would like to visit our shop in person, remember it's by appointment only due to COVID. We are requiring that you do have a mask as well as gloves during the COVID time. We are uh, able to take phone calls and emails, so that information is also at the end of this video. So thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll see you for our next episode.